Today's video features a review of the Home Gym Supreme C950 treadmill. It retails on their site for $499. If you're new to my channel, I have various treadmill product review videos, but what makes this treadmill different? A few of the biggest differences between this treadmill and the others that I've currently reviewed on my channel is that this treadmill comes with dual speakers and it can also be stored in an upright position. Today's video will be broken down into the following topic areas. First, I'm going to go over the product details. Next, I'm going to talk about the assembly. I'm also going to talk about my first impression on this product. And lastly, I'm going to wrap up with my overall thoughts. It has a 1.5 horsepower motor with adjustable speeds ranging from 0.6 to 7.5 miles per hour. It includes three adjustable manual incline levels and it also includes dual speakers. It has a four layer non-slip running belt that has dimensions of 43 inches in length by 15.5 inches in width. So this is what the non-slip coating on the treadmill belt looks like. It does have this little pebbled pattern right here. As you may know, this treadmill can only be stored in an upright position. I imagine that being convenient for a home gym if you want to clear room for floor exercises or even if you want to tuck it away in the corner of a bedroom as it has a small enough footprint. So basically the footprint that it takes up is just this metal portion right here, which happens to be approximately 19 inches in width and approximately two feet in length. Also, for measuring its height at its tallest point, it lands at four feet. So roughly, its footprint is two feet by two feet. It has unfolded dimensions of 50.5 inches in length by 23.7 inches in width and 45 inches in height. This treadmill also comes with 12 preset programs. It includes a hand pull sensor, two cup holders, an LED panel, a phone or tablet holder, and also a safety key. And it also has a headphone audio port if you want to work out quietly. This treadmill has a net weight of 73 pounds. It has voltage of 110 volts, and it also comes with a one-year warranty for any replacements or repairs. And lastly, to sweeten the deal, they have a 365 money-back guarantee if you change your mind for any reason, meaning that you can return it for your full money back within a year. Assembly took under an hour in total to unbox, remove all the packaging, lay out all the parts, and fully set up the treadmill. Generally, I don't like to rush when I set up fitness equipment, no matter how straightforward it may seem, I always reference the instruction manual beforehand. The instruction manual was laid out well. They include all the tools you will need, and they're also nicely labeled in the packaging. So this is what the treadmill looks like straight out of the box once you remove all the packaging. Technically, you could store this treadmill under a couch or bed when not in use if it is fully collapsed. The assembly was quite straightforward. The first step is to raise the handlebars. I just had to screw it in in six separate areas. The first two screws were located at the base. I first attached the screws by hand, then went in with the included tools to tighten it. The second two screws were located for the handlebars, which as you can see, they're quite simple to manually tighten. And the final two screws were for the plastic base coverings. And lastly, I added this knob, which holds the treadmill in place either in its upright position or down for use. The last step is to, of course, remove the plastic coverings and your treadmill is ready for use. This brings us to the next section of the video, which is my first impression on this product. My first impression is that this treadmill feels quite sturdy when you're running on it. It doesn't shake or wobble. I was jogging at a speed of 6.0. how loud the treadmill sounds at a speed of 6.0. So one thing that sets this treadmill apart from others on the market regarding its size and its price point is that this treadmill has dual speakers. There are speakers on either end of the treadmill and there is no Bluetooth connectivity. You just manually plug in your phone. 
What I've found with other treadmills is that if you just try to play music or running videos straight from your phone without headphones, it's a little bit hard to hear it because of the sound of the treadmill itself. So I'm gonna demonstrate speakers on this treadmill using a Peloton workout video as a comparison. So this is what the speakers sound like at their full volume. All right, keep it in here. Go for it, all good. And this is what it sounds like with just the speakers on the phone. So of course I do have the treadmill at a stop. I'm gonna turn on the treadmill to show you as well. This is how loud it sounds at a speed of 4.0 with the speakers on the treadmill. Come on, Butterhead. And this is how it sounds with just the phone. So there is a significant difference. So here is the auxiliary port right here. They do have this included cable. If you do want to plug in your iPhone and you have like the more recent versions of the iPhones, you will need to get one of these lightning connectors, but they typically include it with your phone anyways. And you can always purchase it on Amazon if you need one. Another thing I wanna mention that if you are following along with a workout video and do utilize this phone or tablet holder, if it, your phone or device is on here, it kinda of blocks the numbers on here which show the time, distance, calories, speed, as well as pulse. As with most treadmills, it won't turn on unless the safety latch is in place. It just has this little magnetic closure right here. As you may know, the belt size has a width of 15.5 inches. If you wanted to rest your feet on the side panel portion, say if you want to just like grab a sip of water and don't want to push pause or stop the treadmill while doing so, there's not that much space to put your foot. They're just maybe about one and a half inches in width. Straight off the bat, I love that they have a pause feature on this treadmill. It's something that not every compact treadmill has surprisingly, so that's a really nice feature to have. You don't have to completely stop and restart your workout every time you want to take a break. I also want to mention that while there's two cup holders, they're not entirely the most usable. I guess it would depend on what type of cup or water bottle that you're using. The water bottle I'm using is from the brand Nyad. It's this double walled stainless steel tumbler that keeps your drinks really cold. Honestly, it keeps them ice cold for up to 12 hours. So if you're interested in trying this water bottle out for yourself, the code Christina Marie will get you 10% off your order. So first on the left, we have the volume controls. There are also 12 preset programs on this treadmill. Here's the start and pause button, the stop button, the mode button, and here's the adjustment for the speed. You may notice right off the bat that there are no buttons to adjust the incline because for that you have to do it manually. They do have a nice cell phone or tablet holder right here. To turn on the treadmill, we have the power switch which is located in the front. So this is what the treadmill looks like when it's folded for storage. So it does store in sort of like a V-shaped formation. If you want to wiggle it, you can see that it is quite secure. It's basically all held in with this little screw down here. If you have young kids running around, I wouldn't recommend storing this around them, but if you're storing it in like a room that they don't have access to or like literally can't get into and knock it down, I feel like that would be a pretty good option. Overall, I feel like this is a treadmill that you kind of want to leave out in your room. It's not something that you'd want to stow away after every single workout. To move this treadmill, there are two wheels on the base portion right here where you can roll it. Setting up the treadmill again is quite simple. We just unscrew that one pin that we placed on the bottom of it and pull down the belt. You also want to be careful not to over tighten the screw when you are storing it in the upright position because if you do, it's going to be really challenging to undo it. I also want to mention that when you lower the belt portion, you do have to be careful that it doesn't just like snap back on you. You want to make sure you have a pretty firm grip and you're ready to release it. This treadmill has three manually adjusted incline modes. Right now we are on the highest incline. So believe it or not, this treadmill is at its highest incline right now, which is like a pretty gradual slope, very doable. So technically you can just leave it on this mode and not really think about it. To adjust the incline, you just remove this metal peg right here. It does take a bit of strength. So once that's out on the first side, you go to the other side and remove the peg as well. From there, you can manually lift the treadmill and place the peg in another hole. So I think I'm pretty much going to permanently keep it at this peg, which is the highest incline level. And you can see it's not that much of an incline. The plastic portion on the front does feel quite sturdy. Say if you're running and you kind of nick the front portion right here, or you were to step on this for any odd reason, it's not going to indent on you, which is actually a really good thing. 
So while we're at it, I just wanted to show you a quick size comparison between these two treadmills that I own. On the left, of course, we have the Home Gym Supreme treadmill. On the right, we have the Gerodo IW9 treadmill. The Home Gym Supreme treadmill, as you may know, is 15.5 inches in width by 43 inches in length. In comparison, the Gerodo treadmill is 50 inches in length and 20 inches in width. This makes a Gerodo treadmill approximately 5 inches wider as well as 7 inches longer. With the Gerodo, you can run at speeds of up to 9.0. The Home Gym Supreme treadmill top speeds at 7.5. Also, the Gerodo has an auto incline function of 1 to 10. And as you may know, the Home Gym Supreme treadmill has a manual incline function that you have to manually adjust. So from here, I tried to line them up as closely as I could. I'm not exactly sure where the belt starts and stops on each of these, but I tried to like approximately line it up for you, and this is what it looks like. The Gerardo treadmill on the right is also a little bit higher. The Home Gym Supreme treadmill is definitely lower to the ground. So I just finished my first workout on this treadmill. I did a 30 minute run with Andy Spear on the Peloton app. Overall, I love the compact size, and for me, the belt size is sufficient. I don't find myself hitting the edges or the end while running. Once again, for reference, I am 5'4". The included speakers seem like a cool option and are great if you don't like to work out with headphones. For example, if you like to play music or workout videos on your phone, with a treadmill on, no matter how quiet of a treadmill it may be, it can be tough to hear the sound clearly. So I think that the speakers are a unique feature and something that other models don't tend to have. With that being said, even at this price point, the sound quality could be better, but you could always remedy that by just using your own headphones. The incline function isn't much of an incline, unfortunately, and considering that you have to manually adjust it each time, it's not that convenient. I just keep the treadmill at its constant, quote, max incline, which happens to be just a few inches at best. If you're looking for a bigger model, I would recommend on their website the C950S model, which has a retail price of $645. Its belt is 16.5 inches, which is one inch wider than this current model. It has a 2.5 horsepower motor as opposed to this current treadmill's 1.5 horsepower motor, and it goes up to speeds of up to 10 miles per hour. So anyways, that should do it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're interested in trying this treadmill out for yourself, I do have a discount code. The code is Christina, and that gives you $50 off when you purchase from their site. Be sure to like this video and comment down below what are your thoughts on this treadmill. Do you feel at its price point of $499 it's worth it considering all the features that it has? Be sure to subscribe if you like content like this, and I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching.